So this is how to use Advanced Port Scanner. You can go ahead and download that from the site. It's free. What it does is scans all the ports on your whole network. So right here, this is a private IP address, 192.168.1.1. And what that does is that 255, that's the last. So this is the first dot one. This is the last in that particular network, dot 255. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and scan that. You see, this is one computer, or the router, actually. You can see the router right here. This is another computer. This is the third computer or device. It could be wire, it could be wired TV, wired radio, maybe even a Wii. We don't know. But it does have an IP address. What it did, it just scanned everything from here to there. And it only found three. These are the ports. Go ahead and see the ports right there. Open four, open three. There's three ports that are open. We're going to go ahead and open those ports. Port 23, port 80, and port 8080. That's actually the router. We can go ahead and open up the second one. That has four ports open. Port 80, port 135, port 139, and port 445. The third one has no open ports. So obviously that's not on right now. Or the connection's not up and running. So we can go ahead and look at this. This is actually the computer I'm using right now, since 80 is HTTP, which is the internet, and has three other ports open. NetBIOS advertises things about your computer. We can go ahead and look at port 8080, which is actually HTTP proxy. It's almost just like port 80, except it's a proxy. And port 23, which surprisingly is open, it's Telnet. Really isn't that secure. So we can go ahead and look at that. That's how you use advanced port scanner and you can find vulnerabilities or exploits for these four ports for these four for these three and you also can close certain ones to make sure that your network is secure